Welcome and hello to iGEL Tech Channel. My name is Thorsten Lücker, I'm pre-sales engineer and I'm talking about our Universal Desktop Converter 3 and the installation of it to a virtual box by using Oracle Virtual Box Manager. The agenda of this video is first I will show you how and where you can download the Universal Desktop Converter. After that, I go through the installation process and give you all the information you need for that. And in the ending, I'm talking about the licensing of a Universal Desktop Converter for the evaluation phase. To download the Universal Desktop Converter, the easiest way is to go to our website, myigel.bits. And on this site, myigel.bits, you find all our software solutions that you can use for free in your daily business. In the middle of the site, we see the Universal Desktop Converter. I click on it and here we see the different versions of it. The UDC 1 by using Linux version 4, the UDC 2 by using Linux version 5 and our actual IGEL OS is uh, contained in the UDC 3 stick in the version Linux 10. I open the version 10 and I get the three different firmwares we have in the moment in March 2017 and I download the latest version and by clicking on OK it will download the 1.2 gigabyte. But I prepared something and we will see the UDC to stick zip file here on the desktop. I open it and then I see this folder in it UDC to stick. Open it and see contained the UDC 10 ISO file. This is the only thing I need for this uh, demonstration. The other content of the zip file is for creating a bootable USB stick to convert existing hardware to our Agile Linux solution. But in this case, I need this ISO file to create a new virtual machine. And for that, I open the Oracle VM virtual box, create a new virtual machine. The name is UDC underline 3 and the type is a Linux platform and it's using a 64-bit version. So finished, I go to next. I have to decide the memory size and I will choose 2 gigabyte RAM and now I create a virtual hard disk for it. Dynamically 8 gigabytes are more than enough for our belongings. I want to create it. You see this empty UDC 3 machine, but I want to change some settings. The first one is I want to change the network card because the standard will be a NAT environment, but I want to use host only for my belongings. The network card name should be Rebox 0. It's okay. And for some licensing stuff, I will talk about it in the end. We need some advanced settings because I have to change the MAC address. I just wrote it down here and it's possible to overwrite the MAC address for the virtual machine here. I say OK. That's it. And now I can start my virtual machine. And you see the source is already found, but I will show you where it is. On my computer, on the desktop, you find the UDC 10.1.31 uh, ISO file. I will choose this one as the source for the installation and I start it. Now the virtual box is starting and it's running into my UDC wizard. Go to the full screen mode. And if you ever used our UDC, you know this wizard. You just have to capture the mouse. Sorry for that. And now I can type on UDC installation in the verbose mode only um, in the visa mount or a memory test. But I want to do the full installation here. And you see the background of our IGEL OS. And I choose a language for my installation. It should be English. I read the license agreement carefully and go to this attention mark because the contents of the target drive at the moment everything is just running in the RAM, but if I click on install firmware, the content of the target drive of the target drive will be destroyed. So if you 
try to run it as an, in a dual boot mode or on a USB stick, you have to put an extra um, yeah, disk into it. Then you can choose with target drives a different version. But in my case, I have only the VBOX hard disk and that's the hard disk I want to use. Okay, the firmware is 10.1.310, like I mentioned before. And the hardware, um, here are some messages for me because sometimes there are some drivers missing or something. When I click on it, then we see unknown hardware. Of course, it's a virtual machine, so there is no audio drive or anything found. So, and no drivers for that, but it will be installed during the installation process. No problem. I type on install firmware. And now the installation process is running and it will erase uh, the eight gigabyte of the H disk uh, of the uh, local disk and write our operating system into this empty space. So everything that's on this target drive before is uh, uh, is erased, is broken. So the desktop converter built finished successfully. The only thing I have to do in this moment is to reboot. Remove the CD-ROM, of course, otherwise it will be installed again. But in my situation, my virtual box will run my universal desktop correctly. Just a second. Connecting to the LAN. And here we are. I will open on the left bottom side the application launcher to show you it's not even everything you have to do because there's no valid license on it. You need a license from, uh, from the license team of IGEL and how to get it, it's quite easy. I go back to my browser, go to the website IGEL.com and here we see our famous new videos and of course the point demo it. I want to do this and I go to the demo side of our website. Oh, hello Sarah. And I can now request a 12 minute demo or download free licenses. I don't want to do this. Test user, company is IGEL. Email address is IGEL at IGEL.com. Phone is Bremen and the country will be in this case Germany. I agree the terms and I get a free license. That's everything. Now the license, uh, now I get an email to my email account here and I change to my email account here and we see an email from IGEL licensing and I get the following information. Download the UMS, I have already done it. See the instructions, a lot of useful information and then under point six i see the entry go to this url and activate your software so i will go to it and here we see um, i can use a csv file with the mac addresses in it or i can sorry or i can put the csv file manually and for that i have already here my mac address i put it into this folder and submit it. So, and now I can download my license file here and I have already done it. The next step I have to do is to go to my universal management suite, go to the system, license management and now I can include a new license. We see it here. I downloaded it on my desktop in the folder tech channel. Here is my license file. Open. Okay. And here we see the license file with this MAC address. Okay. Now I scan for sync lines and I should find my virtual sync client I already uh, created. And here it is. Name is localhost, so no special name. The MAC address, like I 
created it, no certificate, so it's a fresh new one and no valid license. It should be the right one. Include, okay, and okay. And here we see our new sync client. And after a few seconds, the ping is returned and we see it's still running. And I can use all this information and start working with the universal management suite. But I go back to my virtual machine. To my universal desktop. And I have to, uh, sorry, reboot it. After that, the license will be accepted. You see, system is running, connecting to the network. And we see he, the thin client found a new license and I have to activate it now. There are some things in the background for that as the reboot is needed. And of course, there is our new virtual machine with our Agile OS on it and a perfect running operating system without any license problems. That's it about creating a virtual machine with our Agile OS on it. And if you have any question about this content, don't be hesitate to have a call or even to write an email to presets at igel.com or have a look at the igel edocs. Thank you for attention.